In this ICT Basics video, I'm going to go over the concept of power of three or accumulation, manipulation, and distribution, uh, focusing specifically on the daily time frame, looking at the daily power of three, uh, but you know, with, with some reference in mind that the power of three works for any time frame. But I'm going to focus specifically in this video on the daily time frame. So the power of three is, is essentially this that whenever you have a black day, you start with a manipulation higher that will then, prior to it going lower. If you have a big green day, right? You have a move lower prior to the move higher. This is usually in the overnight session. Um, does it literally always happen? No. Sometimes you will, you will get a black day that literally just has hardly any move, any sort of manipulation. It's just straight down. We had that on Thursday, the 20th of July. So there was pretty much no manipulation on the, on the 20th of July. It was just straight down the whole day, right? So let's break down a few of these um, examples of accumulation, manipulation, and distribution, or power of three, which is there on most days, but it's not there on literally every single day. Okay. So... Let's take uh, Monday, the 14th of July's trading. Let's get down to the 10 minute chart where we have that blue box. Okay. Let's get on Monday. So. So Monday was, this example is a, is a little bit unique um, in that we had kind of two macro moves down and then we had a PM session that went higher. But the, if you're seeing this right as a daily candle, you notice that move down prior to the move higher, right? And the move down prior to the move higher. That's sort of the, what I'm talking about. So notice that Although Monday was a big green day, what did we have here in the overnight session in Monday's trading? You had a move down prior to the move higher, right? Prior to the regular trading hours then also taking you higher. So you had an overnight session move higher and then regular trading hours. So this is what we call the manipulation. Um, it's the power of three is accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Uh, but basically, if you're looking at just the power of three on a daily range, again, so look at Monday's candle, the candle that I have highlighted. Okay. Notice that although it was a move higher in the day that, that we opened up, basically opened up, traded down, and then traded higher. So the power of three is that usually during the overnight session, although not necessarily during the overnight session, you're going to have a move that is contrary to the intended move for the day. So if you have like a daily chart and you're looking at most of your green candles, what do you have prior to that move higher? Well, you have a, a move lower, right? You have a manipulation lower, right? And what do we have on most of our black days? We have a wick higher, right? Prior to that move lower. Even on the spinning top days, uh, you see it. Okay, now, again, sometimes you're literally just going to have a whole day that's just nothing but up, right? So we had that here on Thursday, the 18th of May, just straight up, right? But notice that on Wednesday, the 24th of May, we had a significant manipulation lower before we ended up closing near the high, okay? Same thing here if we look on the downside, Wednesday, the 7th of June, we traded higher and then it had that manipulation higher to trap people in the wrong direction, and then we traded lower. We see the same thing on Thursday. Manipulation down prior to the move up. Now this manipulation usually occurs in the overnight session, uh, but it doesn't have to. Okay, now we don't, do you always see it? No. Look at the Monday, the 12th of June. Literally just a block candle straight up. All right. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. That prior to a, the daily range, what the intended move for the day is, you do expect... Um, 
some sort of a manipulation in the opposite direction prior to the intended move for the day. Usually that's going to come in the overnight session. doesn't have to. could come in the morning session, and then the PM session could make the intended move for the day. So we look for uh, Thursday's price action, for example. Notice we had a significant manipulation higher before we had the move lower. So you look at Thursday, the 17th of August trading. Look at where I've circled, right? The overnight session and then even the lunch session uh, we were trading higher and, and making you think that the daily range would end up being uh, a green candle right for the day but it wasn't it was a, a very black candle for the day that's the manipulation that's trapping traders on the wrong side of the marketplace so you know basic word of advice guys uh, is that if you see you can't trust the overnight session basically like usually whatever the overnight session is doing the day session is going to reverse it not always but it happens a lot um, that is accumulation manipulation distribution or the power of three that most days most days so if you're going to have a green candle it starts out as a black candle and if you have a black candle at some point it was probably a green candle that's basically it guys and when you expect that usually to happen you usually expect that to happen in the overnight session. doesn't have to, but usually. All right, now, sometimes you do get very unique-looking candles like the Friday the 9th of June where, yeah, it was a green candle, but obviously it traded, you know, hundreds of points, literally hundreds of points higher before it closed kind of near the midpoint of the candle. But uh, anyways, guys, in this video, I wanted to cover the power of three or accumulation manipulation distribution um, and the basic concept is that if you have a black candle you expect it to start out as a green candle and then go to a black candle and if you have a uh, black you know if you have a green candle you expect it to start as a black candle and then move green you do expect some sort of manipulation it happens most of the time not every time most of the time okay guys in this video we covered power of three or accumul accumulation manipulation distribution with a specific focus on the daily time frame. Bye-bye.